welcome to the No Face Show. Oh, you, know, yeah. you know, it's funny. I have the, the complete opposite experience when we were rec- we were recording the uh, the single first single we did with Example in LA at Interscope Studios, and I was like. Well, me, we were like friends already. We were like party together. So I kind of, we knew each other already. Yeah. And he came in, uh, you know, we were, war- we were actually recording at Dr. Dre's, literally at Dr. Dre's studio. He was done no with way. his, yeah, yeah. He was done with his like album. Uh, he, uh, the chronic out, the last one that he did for the out al- for the movie, not the chronic 2000. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. By the way, so, the chronic 2001 one of the greatest albums of all time. Yeah, Hands exactly. Down. So that was the soundtrack so I, to my childhood, bro. Yeah. Crazy. So I'm I'm doing my album with uh, with Antoine in the, in the Interscope series, and I, like for me it was like such a like a huge deal and stuff. Oh, bro. So I need to come so over the, and see that, bro, because that would be honestly a dream come true. Like for so me. he so this fucking guy shows up, bro, and we were like, and and I know that he was in LA, and and he was like raging his ass off and i was i was doing the album so i was like not going out that particular week so and and so he's like yo just hit me up like when when you were ready to go and stuff and uh i had the track laid out and stuff like that and he and and i hit him up and he shows up (coughs) hung hung over as a motherfucker dude he can literally (laughs) barely stand and i'm looking at him and i was like I was like, what happened, dude? He's like, oh, bro, last night. He's like, I literally haven't slept. Uh, and, and it's like a big deal for me. I'm like, yo, this track is going on your album and my album. And he's like, yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. So, and then and he's like, are you ready? Are you guys ready? And we have the engineers and stuff. And we're like, yeah, let's put, we got to drop it, drop the instrumental and stuff. And then it's like the, you know, proper booth. Like they record like Mariah Carey in this shit. Yeah. So, I'm I'm putting in the track uh, and everything. We're setting it up and everything. And then and I and I turn around and I literally hear snoring. I'm not kidding. I turn around <laughs> and this guy, dude, he's passed out on the couch. You know, there's like a couch in the studio, and I'm like, and I'm tapping his foot. I was like, yo, we're ready to go. He's like, all oh, right, right, right. And he and he goes in the booth uh, and uh, literally and 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 the thing is, because he was uh, partying so hard that night his his voice was very raspy actually and i don't know if you know the song whisper you don't have to whisper it was a huge record for him in the uk yeah. uh, and uh, and uh, and because of uh the raspiness like we captured and the engineer is like oh damn this sounds like insane he like did one take and then and then i was like like freestyle i i'm like do you have like a phone did you write anything down he's like man turn that shit on right and then and then we and then we're tweaking the hook and then he's like all right let's record the vo- verses and we're like all right we're ready to record the verses so he comes back to, into the into the main room and he's like yo man i uh, i'm going to go grab a burger and you eat something greasy just like set up the verse whatever i'll come back he literally went to in and out came back with a burger okay like still cheese on his fucking hands <laughs> And he's like, you guys ready? And he goes in and like knocks it out. And then he's like, all right, I'll see you guys at the after party. And he bounces. And that's it. Wow. Like literally. It was like, dude, and and I've had, and then I've had the opposite where I have singers where I come in. I mean, he was like flying so high at that point. He was like working with some of the biggest people in the UK. So he's like, who the fuck was I? You know, for him, it's yeah, like yeah. it wasn't like a big deal. But at the same time, I've also worked with singers where you know, I get the demo and the singer is like knocking, you know, so awesome. And then, and then the pressure and then it just like, they, she goes in the booth and it's like, not it, not it. And mm-hmm. like some singers sometimes. Yeah. They fumble under the pressure, man. When, you, yeah, when, when you're on, when you're in the booth, man, it's a different kettle of fish, man. It's a different story altogether, you know? Um, especially yeah. if uh, you're, you've got other people in the studio or, you know, it's a different, you know, that comes with experience, man. Yeah, but it sounds like back to the Don Diablo thing now. I, it it sounds like you know from just the confidence level that you're at now. I mean, yeah, dude, yeah, you're yeah, just a killer. You're yeah, a killer. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Hopefully, so, but now, I, this I, is what I'm saying. Like, actually, gonna I mean. pitch this to Don Diablo. We're gonna pitch it to him. Be like, yeah, bro, get Don on, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we need a Chris Kiss number two, and I, yeah. I, I reckon it'll, it'll. Yeah. Yeah.